It's the Football Nation Qualifying Cup Final here at New Murrayfield as Kelby take on Lovian Thistle Hutchison Vale of the East of Scotland League of a chance to win their first silverware under Billy Stark. Well, here's how East Kilbride line up. Matt McGinley in goal, and Stevenson, Cole, Howie, Lynch, Kieran Givens today as captain, Sean Winter, Declan Hughes, Ross McNeil, Brian Prunty, and Adam Strachan. Still a very strong lineup of a couple of big names missing on, out of the squad. And Lobin, Thistle Hutchison Vale. Lining up with Swain and Goal, then Moore, O'Donnell, Crawford, Monroe, Muir, Hare, Brown, Murray, McGregor, and Swanson. It will be a tough ask for the East of Scotland League side against a Kelby side still very much pushing for that second consecutive Lowland League title. But the Kelby players know that we'll be looking forward to the opportunity to add another trophy to their growing collection of trophies that they've accrued over the last few years. It's the opponents who get the game underway. Here's Stevenson. Winter. Oh, does brilliantly up against Crawford, cuts it back, and what a start! Declan Hughes gives Kelby the lead in the cup final. With a clean finish from close range. All credit to the work that Sean Winter does here. Takes Crawford out of the game. Picks out Hughes, who beats Swain. And that is just the start that Billy Stark would have been looking for from his side. It's a great delivery and it's an even better header from Sean Winter. Two for Kelby. Well, Sean Winter set up the first. Now he scored the second. And Kelby are in the driving seat. It is a brilliant free kick to pick out Sean Winter, isn't it? And he supplied the finish. What a great header that was. Kevin Swain had absolutely no chance of getting there. Okay, Pistol unable to get the ball cleared. First shot is deflected. And there's again. Swain holds on to it this time. Oh, again, we just having to touch that around the post. And a slight bit of defending from Kelby. Not McGinley reacting well to ensure that didn't find its way into the back of the net. Best hit from McGregor for Lovian Thistle and it goes wide. Now he's header. This is picked up by O'Donnell. Nice one too. O'Donnell looking to loop McGinley. Well, it was good link up play just on the edge of the box. You know, O'Donnell will be disappointed he couldn't convert. Lovian Thistle putting some pressure on, but they've lost the ball here. That's McNeil. Well, he was never going to miss, was he? Such confidence in the finish. It's 3-0 to East Kilbride. And he really is having some season. Kevin Swain, you could maybe argue, came too far out of his goal, but he had to try and close McNeil down. Lovian Thistle's defence caught too far up the park 
And they have been punished for it. Calls free kick. Oh, he was going in for that. It wasn't too far away from his head. And there is half time in the Football Nation Qualifying Cup final. East Kilbride lead by three goals to nil. Hughes, Winter and McNeil, the goal scorers. And what a first half it has been. So the second half underway here at New Murrayfield Park. Look at this run from Brian Prunty. Brought down, no free kick. Pushed away by Swain. Hughes goes for the effort. Lovin Thistle. Furious at the referee. They must have felt that the ball came off of Hughes's hand, but the referee didn't think so. Moore. Doing well to get up the park. Some space for him here. And Tony Muir puts his boot through the shot, but it spins wide. Free kick and a glancy touch from Paul Crawford. There's a decent effort, but Lovie Fissel have had a few chances to at least get themselves on the score sheet, but haven't been able to take any as of yet. Well, again, Lee spelled it, and it is a goal back for Lovie Fissel. Swanson takes advantage to score a rare mistake from Matt McGinley, and it's 3 1. Well, it didn't seem to be the, be the case that Matt McGinley took his eye off the ball. He just let it slip out of his hands. And Lovian Thistle get a goal back. Another good chance for Craig Cowie. Such a great threat to have from set pieces for Kelby. by McGregor and Lillian Thistle can get another goal back they certainly fancy themselves to get right back into the game it's not a bad cross and it's hit the post Matt McGinley beaten once again but this time the post denies Lillian Thistle a second goal Thistle putting the pressure on and he had a couple of good chances in the first half and you've got to wonder from their point of view had they taken them maybe maybe well into the game and McNeil in for a chance for the fourth goal and it goes wide but the referee has awarded the penalty and Kevin Swain has shown the yellow card he did catch Ross McNeil. The referee appeared to wait to see if McNeil has effort at goal if it had gone in, which it didn't. And the penalty was awarded. Sean Winter looking for his second and the goal that would surely seal the cup for Kelby. Sway gets a hand to it. But he couldn't prevent it from going in. Sean Winter has his second. Kelby have their four. And the Football Nation Qualifying Cup looks to be theirs. Not his best penalty, but it didn't matter. It went into the back of the net. That's all that matters. To be fair, there was lots of power behind it. That's why Swain couldn't keep it out. It's 4-1 to Kilby. It's all over here at Newbury Field. Seven cup finals for Kilby. 
and seven wins. They are the Football Nation Qualifying Cup winners for 2018. A comfortable victory in the end by four goals to one. Sean Winter got two and the other goals coming from Declan Hughes and Ross McNeil securing another trophy for the East Kilbride Cabinet and the first of course under the stewardship of Billy Stark. He will be absolutely delighted. And what great momentum I'm sure this will give the Kelby players and coaching staff for the final push as he looked to beat Spartans to the Lowland League title. Olivia and Fissel certainly had chances throughout the game but they just couldn't take them. It may well have been a closer game but it's fair to say that Kelby deserved the win on the day. Celebrations begin in earnest for Kilby. And now time for the presentations. The players receiving their medals. Well, Matt McGinley. You see there, making a rare error for the Lovian Fissile goal, but uh, he'll be able to put that out of his mind. The team did the job today and secured another piece of silverware. to go up today's captain Keenan Gibbons who will do the honours of lifting the cup for East Kilbride <laughs> celebrations all right all round celebrations all round to go Shaw Winter looked delighted didn't he And a great moment for the East Coast Bride faithful who made the trip through to the East Coast to see another trophy set in the East Coast Bride cabinet. The champagne is flowing. Finishes here at New Murrayfield Park. East Coast Bride 4. Lovian Thistle Hutchinson Vale 1. East Coast Bride are the Football Nation qualifying cup winners once again.